Hey guys, Ben here of Pax Power bringing you a V8 Raptor that's a little unique even for our standards. While it did start as a 2019 Platinum V8 like most of our builds, we were able to use some non-OEM parts to make this one bigger and badder. As you see it has fiber works, two and a half inch wider fiberglass fenders and bedsides, has Baja kid suspension with King 3.0 coilovers and shocks all the way around, Deep relief springs, Alcon front brakes, ADD bumpers, fuel wheels, BFG tires, rigid and KC lighting. Uh, this is the one that everybody has been waiting for, the truck that Ford won't build, but Pax Power did. So let me show you around some of these details. Starting at the front, you can see this Raptor just has more everywhere. While it does have the OEM Raptor hood, front grille, and front headlights, much other than that, body-wise, is not OEM. The fenders are Fiberworks two and a half inch wider pieces. Uh, we were able to keep a really nice OEM fitment, bring over the OEM accent lights, uh, some OEM Raptor fender liners, uh, was able to finish this off. The truck was originally gloss black and painted all gloss black, and then wrapped by our friends over at Underground Graphics in this satin black with gloss black accents. Uh, the grill's been planted gross. The suspension on this build was primarily sourced from Baja kits. Has their upper control arm, their lower control arm, which is the primary components between their pre-runner kit. Has King 3.0 coilovers, uh, OEM Raptor axles, uh, billet tie rod ends that both uh, have heim joints on the outside and make things stronger but also help give us the clearance we need for the Alcon big brake kit that fits behind these 17 inch fuel wheels. Uh, the fuel wheels were powder coated in gloss black to match with the theme and the uh, gold bolts were replaced. Lighting on this truck uh, consists of three main components. That is the uh, DeBerti style Pro 6 KC light that's on top. And the front we have a rigid Radiance Plus 20 inch light bar and that has amber bike backlighting to match with the uh, stock Raptor backlights. And then in the rear we have two Radiance cubes that have red backlights and uh, Everything is controlled by the OEM uh, retrofit overhead switches that we put in. So it has the overhead console of a Gen 2 Raptor and that's what controls these few like circuits. Uh, the lights are tucked away in ADD Pro bolt-on bumpers. Uh, these do have a really tight fit uh, to the body which we like. They also have a nice high entrance angle. It really looks like a frame cut bumper uh, in a lot of ways, but keeps you from having to uh, cut the frame. So we really like this. Uh, holds the 20 inch light bar. And uh, in the rear, you see it also has a very clean design. Uh, we actually took the plate off of the top, which comes in satin black. Had that powder coated in gloss black. Uh, you see the uh, cube lights tucked away down there. You'll see some other styling cues we did on this truck. The gloss black Raptor tailgate panel painted that and then did satin black accents. Also uh, gloss tint on the tail lights to darken those up. And then the third brake light is a, a recon uh, unit that, that blacks out and actually has some brighter, uh, some bed lights to it. Out back and underneath are some more upgrades. Uh, you see the Deaver leaf springs that are here. This is a really cool, I think it's like nine or ten leafs in there. Rides well, um, but also uh, will handle some big hits. You can also see the uh, Borla exhaust where we brought that down. That's a Borla attack. We didn't put on the rear section, just installed it as an over the axle dump. Uh, and the reason we did that was so that we had plenty of room for this 37 inch 12.5 spare that fits in the stock location. Uh, more King 3.0s back here. We also bedlined inside the fender liners. Uh, the bed line continues inside the bed. Finished out the bed really nice and uh, put a uh, Retrax Pro uh, bed cover on here. 
Coming to the inside, we don't do a whole lot as these are platinum trucks and come fully loaded from Ford. Uh, the power steps are nice. The softer leather interior. Uh, you see this one has the glass roof. We do make it so that it says Raptor on the screen when you get in your truck. Uh, bring over that cue, but for the most part, uh, leave things alone inside. Uh, it does have the Raptor floor mats, and if you notice there to the left of the uh, steering wheel, you'll see a pedal commander. This customer just wanted a little bit more than the stock Whipple kit, so we did that. It does help it make a lot more responsive. And as I mentioned, we also put in the uh, overhead console from a Gen 2 Raptor in here so that that controls his light circuit. Coming around to the front, you'll see the 5.0 liter V8 topped with the 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger. This system comes in two packages, the Stage 1 and Stage 2. Stage 1 is 700 horsepower and available with a three-year 36,000 mile warranty from Whipple. The reason this was chosen in this application is this is a California truck and the stage one package is 50 state and carb compliant. So you can easily register and drive this in California. Also, if you want more power, uh, this is available in a stage two package with 758 horsepower. So we'll finish up around the back one more time and that's for the most important thing to many and how does it sound? So we'll fire it up and give it some revs and let us know what you think of this beast. Okay, well thanks for watching. Uh, don't hesitate to let us know what you think and uh, stay tuned for more builds like this from PaxPower.